Hello, 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 hello everyone. Max morning, Max morning. It is a beautiful new week. I hope we're all doing great. I hope you had a really good weekend. So good evening, good afternoon, good morning, depending on the way or tuning in from and when you're watching this. Okay, great. So yes, 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 we are in the last lap of this 90 day run. I trust it's been great. I trust that you've been able to develop new skills, build new muscles. And yeah, we're definitely all very hopeful for March. For March, for March, we need to push on in this March madness and capitalize on this promo, this beautiful promo that Max has for us. Right, so yes, we're going to be learning something really lovely and deep today. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining in. Yeah, if you're, you're, you've connected to this, just type in your name where you're tuning in from so that i can see that in the comments and yes participate as much as possible thank you so much for joining in so today 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 we are going to learn the comfort zone how you should why it's important first of all to expand your comfort zone and how to effectively do it right expanding the comfort zone now this is not something i'd really thought about or kind of articulated quite how Eric taught us over the weekend. So it's going to be really, really insightful. So please, yes, participate actively in this and drop comments. Um, okay, I'll try as much as possible. You know, I'm using my phone, but yeah, you should be able to get some good stuff done. Okay, so first of all, right now we all have comfort zones, right? What's your comfort zone? Basically, as the name is implying, the kind of space and the kind of things you're very comfortable or feel very comfortable doing or being, right? So, some of us, that's different things. We all have those things that we're very comfortable with doing. If it comes to like this business, for instance, some of us are, are okay, we're comfortable enough with sharing a tool like sharing a video with someone or sharing a brochure a flyer we're comfortable with inviting people to meetings and stuff so there are different things and i'm not just talking about business like in your entire lives there are things that we are comfortable that we're doing so those fall into our comfort zone right and the interesting thing about the comfort zone is currently right now your comfort zone has both negatives and positives right it has negative things and it also has positive things so when you say positive things so if you're comfortable like these skills that i said right now you're comfortable with inviting someone to a meeting you're comfortable with uh sharing a tool and all of that some of us okay we're really comfortable like presenting all of those kind of things so those are positives those are good useful things for your business and life generally but then sometimes we also have negatives we also have negatives in our comfort zone. So when I say negatives, it's not ha not being able or having that fear or belief when it comes to to actually stepping out to want to share uh, things with people, wanting them to be invited to a meeting, to or stand and share a testimonial or story or any of those kind of things, right? all these uh, negatives. When I first became part of Max, right, one of the negative things for me was all oh, presentation, the whole public speaking and sharing. I remember the first time, I don't know if Anne will remember this, but yes, um, that time I was in Abuja, Nigeria, and, um, and some other people were coming in to host the BOM. So I was one of the people on ground there. So I was helping with like getting venues and all of that. And just like minutes before we were to start the meeting, that was my first time actually meeting. And, and then she and then the other presenter, um, James and Jocko says, oh, you'll be the MC. And I was like, huh, the MC? Wait, what? What did they mean by that? Why would I be the MC? At that time, like I was terrified. I always know an MC to be someone that has all the energy, is bringing vibe and is coordinating and making sure that like, the event has, like, it's kind of upbeat and all. And you're saying I'll be the MC. Like, no, I can't be the MC. I've never been an MC. I do not even know how to do it. Like, 
what are you guys talking about like i was terrified i was really terrified and when i <laughs> so okay it so happened that i had to be the mc i had to be the one like doing the first introduction obviously when we when in max when we talk about the mc the mc does that first intro and all of that and honestly i didn't even know what i was busy saying in those few minutes i know i welcome people um i don't know what else i said in the last in those few minutes but one thing was key was that i ended up making a mistake which i was told about later that oh i introduced the james as a doctor when he wasn't a doctor right so it was the town like when he took the mic and he had to now be correct oh i'm not a doctor i was just like oh lord this is why i know what to be at mc so definitely that was very out of my comfort zone very very out of my comfort zone thankfully with practice and all of that i am better much better at okay actually standing in front of people and sharing right and talking to them so yeah that is now part of my comfort zone what wasn't in my comfort zone is now part of it right so um hopefully you'll be able to see this very well but yeah so if you could see this is just a depiction of your comfort zone your comfort zone so like i said it has positives and then it has negatives we'll come back to this particular graphic but yeah it's very very important thank you <laughs> thank you edwin i see you so it's very very important that we assess what our co our comfort zone is like or what 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 things lie in our comfort zone right now be them positive be them negative now there are three really important questions to ask like once you can identify these things see what is positive what is negative there are three important questions very key questions you need to ask of each one the first is does it serve me does it serve me so okay me not being able to stand in front of a crowd and present right is it a practice is it an action that serves me yes or no you have to answer it the second thing is should it change should it change so after you say okay this served me so me not being able to oh do the public speaking and all right it wasn't serving me so the answer would be no right should it change right yes right because things that are not serving you should change that is the the logical uh, choice right and then the third question the third question to ask is should my comfort zone grow should my comfort zone grow and the answer to this like that should be for every single person is yes like a resounding yes and your comfort zone the whole idea is if your comfort zone is actually growing it means you're now more comfortable with certain things certain uh positive things that are going to serve you serve your business and serve your life generally very very well so it's worth assessing right and it's worth growing so just like this graphic says right can start like this this could be your comfort zone initially but then there are things that are probably out of your comfort zone you could see this positive thing for me like not being able to present that was out of my comfort zone but with practice with everything i've been able to do i've been able to expand the comfort zone so that's the second circle right there could be something else far away that you want to you've identified that it's it's a helpful thing for your life it's a helpful thing for your business at all so you're constantly expanding building or widening that comfort zone right so the idea really is to commit to expanding your comfort zone and if you see this thing i mean this graphic i would like us that are on it anytime you're watching this or for those people who are live right now what does this look like this thing that has rings and rings and rings like this what does it look like i would like somebody to actually type that out in the comments what does it look like right so we need to commit really to building and widening our comfort zone because so many so many of us it's because of the fear okay we have so many like self-limiting beliefs or limiting beliefs about the industry things that are actually not serving our business or serving our lives very well and because we're not comfortable with them because we've not 
taking the actions, the steps to really deal with these things and expand our comfort zone. It's going to keep holding us back. There's a very, there's a limit to what we can achieve, basically, right? So this, um, so team for comments, but this, this looks like rings in a tree. If you've seen like big trees that are cut through, they actually have rings, right? And interesting, like, the way the, the, the rings are built is because of the growth of the tree. Like people use the rings to know the age of a particular tree. So the, the growth of the tree actually happens from within and it kind of like breaks. So it breaks and forms one ring and then a second ring. So everything comes from the internal and externally like that. So, I mean, in trees that have lasted decades and decades and decades, you can see a lot of rings. It's really amazing. And like the tree, we need to build the rings in our own tree, in our own life, right? So how do you go about doing this? So it's not about the steps. How do you go about doing this, right? So there are certain... So first of all, like I said, you have positives and negatives. So your positives are good, they are great, right? But you don't even need to leave it just as is. You can actually make your strengths to be even stronger, right? So some of us are fairly good at some of the things good at i mean i used to think it was fairly good at at least doing things like prospecting and or oh, presenting and all but then definitely with this 90 day run with all the tips with all the skills all these things that I've been learning right it's now better like i can see the improvement is definitely showing in results right so there's always an improvement there's always an upgrade a higher way to go so make your strengths even stronger that's the first thing now for the second thing right which is the negatives right the things that are not allowing us to achieve higher than what we've done before achieve the kind of growth we want right there are certain levels or seven steps that we can take to achieve this right thank you so much i see my boxes Chris, thank you so much for joining. Stephen Money, thank you so much for joining. Okay, so here are the seven steps. The first is you actually have to make a decision, right? A decision that you want this thing to change. We talk about it all the time. Everything starts in the mind. So you want to be able to decide, like firmly make a decision. Not that you're going to run away from this, not that you're going to, going to try and skirt around it or uh, avoid it. No, you have to decide that, okay, this thing really... It's not serving me and should change. So I want to commit to changing it. That's the first thing. The second step is building your awareness around it. So let's think about when you just identify something and then you're now making your, you now have that consciousness, that awareness, so that, oh, as you're going about life, you have that, that uh, mindset that, okay, this thing needs to change. So you're going to be noticing how it's, plays out in your life, how it interferes in your life and be able to check yourself, right? Once you become aware of something, yeah, then you can now, it's in your consciousness, you can now take steps to, okay, check yourself. Now, after the awareness, the next step is brute force. And this is not just force, it's brute force. What do we mean by this, right? There are some times that you just have to push yourself to that uncomfortable place. Right, just push yourself. Oh, if you're you've been doing this your network marketing business, you've been doing this marked business like a secret service agent, people don't even know what you do. Oh, you don't want to be associated with one of those things, or you don't want people to judge you at all. You just have to rip the band-aid off and do it. Just push yourself to do it. Like choose or decide that and allow yourself to be embarrassed if that's what it comes to. Right, allow oh, people to talk or whatever is going to happen. Happen like you have to kind of decide like, hey, if I perish, I perish. Right. So just using brute force sometimes. Right. Throwing yourself in the deep end. It's not like you're going to do something so extreme because it's important to not try and go so far out of your comfort zone initially. But push yourself. Actually do the thing. Do the thing that is going to move you forward. So brute force. And then the next step, the fourth step is plan, do, review. You know, this always keep, keeps coming up, right? Plan, do, review. So, okay, you 
have a fear with like plenty of opportunity or maybe talking about it on social media right just do it just create a post or say okay at next meeting be virtual or physical you will just share your story right that is you doing it so by the time you okay that's your plan okay i will do it then you actually do it then review okay what work what didn't work what can i refine it's always good to review your process right instead of just doing and just leaving it there if there are things you need to tweak adjust you do that right so you do that constantly plan the review eric tells us this all the time all your activities plan to review them and then the fifth thing is now build habits around this so yes you can do something once but doing it once is not enough right to be able to build a habit it means oh, be consistent okay so if i post now about this okay let me post again about it let me post again about it if i'm sharing my story i don't just share it to one person i share it to two people five people ten people just kind of get a rhythm going right so that's how you build habits that will serve you around the thing that's this new thing that you're trying to change then the sixth thing is having right associations and accountability now this is really key right you want to be able to have associations with people that will help with this habit and you this new thing that you're trying to cultivate this is really important right so being with okay you want to better presenting associate with yourself with people that you can see are actually good at this learn skills from them help refine them practice with them right oh you want to know how to get better at posting and all of that go look up people who are actively like posting people within your team within max who posts really good content right that that's that's helping their business learn from them those are good things they reinforce it because you want to be in that positive environment that is helping you get to to where you want to be helping you be more like the people that you look up to so that's it and then the last but not the least thing is learning 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 so you're we constantly learn i mean see um chris see yeah, chris and tammy right they and they've been here for almost as long as max has been has been in place right they are still learning so this is a continuous process of learning 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 and obviously we know the learning is in the doing right so these steps very very important i'll run through them again decision awareness brute force really key plan to review habits associations and accountability and learning so these are steps so we have to commit to building the rings on our tree all right so the question really to ask yourself is how many rings are left to be built in you yeah yes i'm sure just by virtue of being part of max international right you've built a ring you've built oh for an industry for a kind of business that people like to run away from like it took Oh, some courage some oh brute decision some brute force to be part of this so you built a ring so how many other rings can you actually build right how many rings are left to be building you and what 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 is the hope or what's the desire for all of us here right is that we not just commit to building the rings of our life but then we we choose to be what we call the sequoia tree the redwood tree i actually had to go read up a bit about it it's fascinating like it's one of the trees that grows the to the lot but you know it's one of the trees species of trees that grows to, continues to grow like over years and years and years is it extends its roots like spreads out its roots really wide and it actually intertwines with other trees like it right and these trees are huge like they are large i saw a particular picture of sorry about that can you hear me okay i hope i hope the connection came back okay so yeah it was fascinating so it was it was almost like the the tree was a bit split in the middle right and they've managed to kind of construct like a lane a road like under it so that people can kind of go under it it's almost like a a what's the word now 
kind of a tent, a makeshift tent. So one half of the tree and it's roots this side, the other half this side, and then cars could actually pass. Like imagine that that magnitude of a tree, right? So that's a tree that has a lot of rings, and that is what we should aspire to be, right? Where are we are now so comfortable with so many things that will serve our life? I mean, and of course, if you're comfortable with that many things and you're doing the right things, it means your business is definitely going to succeed much better, right? But we shouldn't restrict it to just this 90 day run or just max business. Your entire life, right? You need to be built rings and be more comfortable with things, the gainful stuff. So with your teammates, important. With your health, you need to build in rings. With your family, your other kinds of relationships and everything. And it's a continuous thing. Like forever and ever and ever. Just a continuous process. So commit to continually expanding rings. Do not shrink back. Right? I mean, a tree is going older. It's not going to be getting smaller. You don't want to get smaller. And one thing that will help you so that you don't shrink back is, I mean, the things that you decide to change let it not be so far out of your comfort zone right pick your so first of all you pick it one at a time but then do things that are kind of close to the comfort zone first of all you don't want to if you're from here you just go straight boom to there without having cultivated like the the rings closer to you so you don't want uh, uh someone who literally and this is something we have to even be careful of with with our teams with newbies right you don't want to have an associate just now and then you expect them to be all oh, presenting BOMs like right off the bat and all of that no you have to do small things small things right comfort zone so that's why we talk we teach them first oh uh have a list right okay this approach to use for this customer oh what's this video what's this event just things like gradually 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 right so you do things because you don't want i mean if you tell them to do a thousand things oh we'll present a view and do this do that or talk to a thousand people in one week or something you freak them out and they're going to shrink right so it's the same thing with you so you have to pick patterns very closely so that you do not shrink back right thank you so so much uh thank you Yenisa can i see you thank you so so much so yes what is the challenge for today what is the challenge for day 62 the first thing is pick one of when you sit down and assess your comfort zone you see what the positives are what the negatives are pick one thing one negative in your comfort zone that needs to change one thing that needs to change and then do the seven steps everything from decision to learning right commit to doing that all obviously it's not going to be a day thing it's like gradual but yeah commit to doing that and yeah by the time you build that ring you're going to be so proud of yourself and it's going to serve your life so so much better and then another thing is teach this to your team right because they also need to build rings we all need to build rings that will be more successful so yes commit to doing this that is the challenge for today and yes right after this live the, the template is going to go up so that you could see everything and at least if you've not written down the steps you know what they are so thank you so so much for joining in thank you thank you thank you it's the beginning start of a brand new week we have many things to do many people to reach out to people who need what we have so let's spread that gift abroad better health better finances and a life of significance thank you so much Luz. thank you so much for joining in thank you so much everyone all right enjoy the rest of your day bye thank you chris thank you thank you thank you everyone